It has not been often since starting my career that I've had the opportunity to commute by train. But just this morning, I was afforded the opportunity to travel by train to my place of work. It had been a while, and let me tell you, it's a whole dang experience. There are many things to think about, lots of rules to follow, and countless tidbits of etiquette to abide by. Today, I'm going to tell you all about it, so you too can be prepared to commute by train next time you're in need. But first, a word from this week's ad slot. If your mouse still has a cord, I'm sorry, but you're living in the past. Wireless keyboards and mouses are the way of the future. I only have to charge these a few times a year, so battery life is not an issue. And yes, they can be super expensive, but these ones are super affordable. There's no good excuse as far as I'm concerned. I, for one, am glad that cords are gone, over, and done with. They're cumbersome. They get tangled. And if I'm being honest, they hinder my creative flow. There's nothing like having a great idea only to be held back by the six inch leash that your computer accessories are tied to. The way I see it, my life is just a little bit better. Every email I write a little less dreadful because I use a wireless keyboard and mouse. And that's all I have to say about that. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. We know I like the number five, so here are five elements to your commuting by train experience bag. Element one, timing is everything. If you take the train and you don't wear a watch, well, you really should. I know we all have these fancy calculators that we carry around and show us the time and the weather and all those good things, but having something tied to your wrist that you cannot lose is quite crucial when you need to have an accurate read on the time. You need all of the times and travel times sorted out ahead of time. Know when your train's departing. Know how long it takes you to get from your home to the train station, and know how long it takes to get from that next train station to your final destination. Furthermore, how are you getting there? Are you driving to the train station? Are you on a bike? Are you on foot? Or are you one of those dorks who drives around a little scooter and folds it up and puts it on the train? These are all things you need to think about that will affect your commute time. Use Google Maps. Use your train line's website as a resource. We have a worldwide web of resources right at our fingertips. Be smart and know that the train is ruthless and waits for no one. So do what you gotta do to be on time. Element two is sorting out your tickets. If you wanna be a noob, don't come prepared. I dare you. See what happens. You'll probably break the ticket machine, go through the wrong turnstile, not have the correct fare, and create a commotion with the conductor and be entirely flustered in front of the entire train car. Have fun. Do your homework. Look up the information ahead of time so you don't incur any unnecessary charges. Most train lines these days have an option to use an application on your fancy calculator as your ticket. Utilize that. If you have a paper ticket, put it in the convenient tabs that have located on the top of every seat as soon as you sit down. That way, when the conductor comes around to click, click, click your ticket, you're not holding up the line. If you're not sure what to do, just look around. There will be tons of seasoned commuter veterans on your train that will know exactly what to do and you can follow their lead. Now this is important. Don't be the person to disrupt the ticketing process. These commuters are very busy with a very defined directive. directive. Oh. <laughs> Element three is knowing how to occupy yourself. There are several options. Reading a newspaper is usually reserved for the 55 and older crowd. These sophisticated folks for some reason still enjoy smeared ink on their fingers and tend to scoff at young millennials who are glued to their phones. If you find yourself emailing on your computer on your commute to work by train, you might be part of the 45 year old crowd. Maybe you're hyper aware that your last big promotion could be right on the horizon and taking that extra commute time every day to get a head start on work is well worth the effort. Or you could stare out the window like someone in the 30-something game. Members of this group know that this slice of their day will be the only time that they have peace and quiet. Prior to arriving at the office, only to be everyone's yes man in an effort to climb the corporate ladder, or just before getting home only to endure a hurricane of chaos ensued by 
their new lovely fiance. Listen to music and you might be mistaken for one of those prep high school kids on their way to their fancy school. Or one of the interns whose parents got them this amazing opportunity that they could give two blanks about. You decide where you fall. It's up to you. Element four is simple. Don't talk in the quiet car. Don't put your bag on the seat next to you when the train is packed. Don't put your headphones on such a high volume that the whole train can hear. Do follow the posted signs. Do have your ticket ready when the conductor comes around. And do be a courteous and kind train goer. Look out for one another. Now element five is a disclaimer. Have a plan B. Riding the train is great at all, but sometimes it can be a disaster. Things can go wrong when taking the train. It's part of the thrilling adventure. Weather can also throw you for a loop. Be prepared for the worst, so the outcome is the best. So with that in mind, maybe don't time it down to the last second with no buffer room on the day you have that really big meeting with your boss. And when you missed your train by six seconds because you did time it down to the last second, Go to the corner store, start checking things off your shopping list, browse to the newsstand to catch tidbits of all the latest celebrity gossip, or go sit at the sad bar in the corner with all the other guys that missed their train by six seconds, or are loathing all their life choices. Using the five elements covered in this video, you too can have a successful train commute experience. Remember, timing is everything. Sort out your tickets, know how to occupy yourself, abide by the train etiquette, and always have a plan B. Some days, riding the train is a miss, but 95% of the time, it's awesome. I personally love it. It's one of my favorite experiences to have. On a side note, see my shirt? I designed it and printed it. It's a juice box with a moose on it, themed after the lovely camp song about a great big moose who liked to drink a lot of juice. A particular moose whose name was Fred, who happened to drink juice in his bed. You can buy it on my Etsy store. I'll leave the link below. Check it out.